Tim, great to see you. Thanks a lot for appearing on Money Talks. You're welcome. Now, we've got some of your sportswear here, and it's, it, if I may say so, it's obviously very good quality. Thank you. Um, it's the kind of thing I might put on when I'm cycling. Sorry for that uh, Im <laughs> image. But what's particularly special about this uh, fabric that makes it, quotes, infrared, that makes it help heal injuries? So inside the fibres that make the yarns, that make the fabrics, we embed a specific blend of minerals, and they are selected because they absorb a wide array of energy, such as visible light or UV, and they convert that into a very targeted region of the infrared spectrum, re-emitting it back into your body and causing some responses in your cells. So basically you broaden the capillaries, more blood flow, which helps heal injuries. Is that roughly it? That is absolutely one of a multitude of benefits, but that's probably the biggest one. Yeah. And it's the easiest one to demonstrate should we be in a meeting or at a trade show, for example. Very interesting. So you're at university. You, you should be sort of, you know, drinking and <laughs> sitting around, you know, doing the occasional essay or whatever. What was it in you that made you thought, hang about, I'm going to start a business? So I actually chose my course at university because it was one of the few in the country that would allow me to further the research of infrared light okay. that I was already interested in. Okay. I came to the University of Reading interested in well neurology or infrared. They wouldn't let me put a well in the MRI scanner, so the infrared won out. Okay. And it was originally came from me being an injured athlete when I was at sixth form, okay. just trying to get myself back on the track quicker at the time I was sprinting. And that grew into an academic interest. And while I was at university, I wanted to heal wounds, as you've uh, spoken to already. So you have this idea, you develop the science, you, you move heaven and earth and, and manage to build some prototypes. You're funding this somehow. Tell us about the journey. When did you realise you had a viable business? When did you start thinking this could go international? I could start selling this to Olympic athletes? Well, we actually started with Olympic athletes while I was still a student. Being at Reading, and I was a lightweight rower myself at the time, the heartland of rowing in the UK. Yeah. So a lot of our original garments were fitted on the legs of GB rowers. When we, I knew this could be something bigger was we launched in September 2013 after I'd graduated. And within a week, I woke up to an email from a now client in Saudi Arabia asking, will I get too hot? in your products. Oh, okay. I thought, how on earth have you found out about us? This? <laughs> this has really spread quite quickly. So this is like 2014, 2015 that this uh, is this happening? This was 2013, so okay. September, yeah. So, so how, because you'd only just started your business. This happened really soon. It did, and we, we grew quite rapidly, so covering all six continents. Now, I'm including Antarctica, because we sold someone in Cambridge who took it to Antarctica. Wow. Within the first six months of the business, and that was from word of mouth. You know, there wasn't advertising spend forcing that through. That was from our clients saying, wow, this actually really works, and telling loved ones, friends, family about it. It's not just sportswear, is it? I know you've got a range of garments that help in a medical environment specifically. Tell us about those. We do. So actually everything you see here on, on the table is a certified medical device here in the UK, Europe, and across in the US, for example. And Chimera was founded to provide the technology into the medical markets and really help people not just enhance an athletic career, but mm. truly change their life. And what happened during lockdown? I, I guess you're selling a lot of your stuff online. Lots of people were exercising during lockdown or trying to. Um, what happened to your sales? So sales online grew about 155%. Wow. Um, which was fantastic. Big increase. On the flip side of that, our bread and butter for years has been selling into the elite teams like the Premier League clubs you mentioned earlier. And overnight, that market went very much to sleep. There yeah. were some teams proactively that used us to reduce injury burden while they had athletes that were away from their training centres. But the core thing for us was we said the warehouse will stay open because we have people reliant on our products for medical reasons mm. and being stuck at home during lockdown was only going to exasperate their conditions. Have you used, do you use conventional bricks and mortar retailers? Can you get buy this Chimera stuff in the shops? We have some brick and mortar retailers. Yeah. Most of them are actually healthcare clinics. So a physiotherapist, a chiropractor, for example. Um, and then the majority of our business is online. Tim, what is it about you that makes you an entrepreneur? There must have been real bumps in the road. Uh, indeed, your initial injury. 
There must have been times when he thought, I can't do this. There must have been times when he thought, it's all mad. Why don't I just get a normal job like all my friends? What is it in your makeup that made this work? I think everything you've said there absolutely is very true. Um, for me, it's a, some sense of purpose, wanting to have done more without sounding too wishy-washy about it, and then just the drive to get up and up, you know, when we have days like that, that head is down, why don't I have a normal nine to five? Well, actually, I've, I've committed to this. And that's that sense of commitment to me now to our clients, to our team. And we have almost 40 people now in the business. And, wow. you know, they are reliant on the business for their salaries. Have you got international rivals or rivals here in the UK? Is it only you that's doing this, only Chimera that provides this sort of capillary expanding technology within a garment? So there are some competing infrared technologies on the market. The only sort of large named brand that has an infrared range would be Under Armour, and of course they are a big competitor to have. But at the same time, a big brand like that putting their stamp of approval behind their technology helps us no end with just popularising the fact that it's possible what we're doing with our products. Well, I must say... It's a very, very interesting company. Hats off to you for turning a dorm room dream into a business reality, employing dozens of people. We wish you all the best. Uh, Thank thanks you a lot for much. appearing, Tim, on the money.